Crafty friends, my name is Tony Darek. Welcome to our fabulous How to Craft Network studio. In today's show, I'm going to show you how to use our beautiful lamination stamps. And it's that two-part stamp that makes you look like an artist. Really, really cool in design. So the one I'm going to show you today is Anything is Possible. And this is that beautiful sketch design with those beautiful sentiments in there. But in today's show, I'm going to show you how we can just use colour today. And no black ink pads or grey ink pads, just pure colour to create a simple design. So let's get crafting. So first of all, I'm going to do the coloured element of our... Um, card making now when you get your stamp set home you will see instantly that your cat that your stamp has a solid portion in dark and then the outline so this is where you normally put your color and you spray with water to get the watercolor look and then the second part you can pop on in heat embossing black ink whatever suits you as a crafter but today I'm going to do this in color and I'm going to do this in color as well so let's just um, show you so I'm going to go with our outline first today to show you that it doesn't matter which start, which stamp you start with, you will get results always. So I'm just going to pop this down the right hand side of my card here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's come in a little bit, hey? Let's do it. Ooh, shall we do it there? Let's do it there. There are simply no rules. You can do as you please. And if you're batch making or creating cards, for your local church or school, anything like that, you can make as many as you like in all different colours and they're going to look beautiful. So I'm going to go with this green and I'm just going to pop the green on the green parts here. So the solid green parts and then I'm just going to take a lovely, lovely um, ready colour and I'm going to stamp the detail. I'm just going to stamp this one straight out so I'll get the green and the lovely pink part in there. There we go. So you can see we've got sort of, sort of a design going on. I'm going to enhance it slightly, add a little bit more detail with that ink. I'm going to try and get a darker colour on my flower. And I'm just going to stamp it one more time. So we have sort of our skeleton design on there. So I'm just going to take that one off and then I'm going to use this solid portion of the stamp this time. And I'm just going to line it up. Now, if you're uncertain of exactly where it should be, if you just refer to your packaging, it has the step-by-steps across the base. But as always, you have me here and you can be rewind me, pause me and use me at your disposal at any time to be creative, which is also very nice. So this is the solid portion and this is where our colour is going to come to life. So I'm lining it up and again it's not a precise design so it won't line up perfectly and that's what's going to give you that true artistic feel in your cards. So I'm just going to clean my door here and I'm going to pick up that stamp and I'm going to try and use a different colour this time. So let's go a light on the flower. And then let's go a green everywhere else, a different shade of green. Like so. I may add a touch of purple in the flower too, just a little bit, just to enhance it a little bit. And then to make it look like a realistic watercolour image, I'm just going to give it a spray. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow those colours to bleed and blend together giving me a lovely, hopefully a lovely watercolour finish. That just looks so impressive, like I've actually picked up a brush and painted that. Truly beautiful and if you change the colours on there, swap out one of the elements for maybe an embossing powder or another medium, they'll look really, really pretty. So let's just move this one out of the way and let's just clean, let's get our artwork out of here. Nobody would ever know that we haven't painted that. And guess what? We don't have to tell anybody, which is also really, really cool. So on the sentiment front, I'm going to use I Love Us. I'm just going to pop this onto my acrylic block here. Pick that stamp up. Oh, sorry, wrong way. And we're going to pick that stamp up with our acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp it in black. 
and I'm just going to stamp it onto this little tab I have here. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and create a little sort of tab design. Like a banner. Like so. And then I'm just going to take a foam pad and I'm just going to cut it in two. Just so it doesn't show at the back. Just to give us some dimension on our card here. But you can totally skip this stage. You can go flat should you wish. I'm just going to move it out of the way. So let's pop this onto our card first. So this is our masterpiece, the watercolour element of it. And we'll just pop this onto it. And you can see as soon as it's mounted onto that pretty coloured background. Grab some white cardstock and stick that down. It will look really, really pretty. There we go. And then we have our beautiful banner. Up down the side here. Make sure it's straight as possible. And then I'm just going to take my sparkle pen and I'm going to add some sparkle to the design itself. So it just catches that light when it is reflected in the light. And we have a really pretty watercolour design card. Super, super quick as well. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed today's inspiration. Our lamination stamps create the most realistic artistic feel. So if you want to pop them in frames, leave them on cards, add them to your mixed media projects. They're also really creative for that also. I hope you've enjoyed the show today. Whatever you're doing, have a beautiful day. And don't forget to check out the rest of our inspirational videos. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.